Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, the finest monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line in the world. Hi, and welcome to this episode's Rigging Station. I want to talk to you in detail about affixing your balloon to the kite. Make sure that your kite thong is first affixed to the kite before putting the balloon on the kite. A lot of guys will use monofilament to wrap around the balloon to hold it firmly to the kite. I find that these three or four legged kite thongs are super simple. They just slide right over the spars. They're adjustable and it makes it really easy to keep that balloon and the kite one cohesive unit. More importantly, as I mentioned earlier, they're adjustable. Make sure that it's in a fully open position before you wrap that thong around the balloon. You want to affix that balloon right to the back of the kite, and you want to use a piece of soft wax rigging floss to make that knot. Don't use monofilament. The sharp edge at the end of the monofilament will risk popping that balloon. So when you tie the balloon to the back of the kite right there, use that soft rigging floss. Really important. Once that's tied on really tight, you're gonna slide your thong over top of the balloon. You're gonna tighten each of the legs and adjust that balloon to the exact position depending on what direction you want this kite to fly in. Okay, clearly if I want it to fly over to the left, I'm gonna put my balloon a little bit closer to the right and vice versa. Once it's in the right position, tighten it up with the little adjustable thongs and then use black electrical tape. Don't use anything else, trust me when I tell you black electrical tape and just put a little strip over the top of each thong. The idea is to make sure that that balloon and that kite are one cohesive unit. Okay, it really has to be nice and firm and tight in order for that kite to fly properly. From that point, you can add some split shots to the side to help the kite bank even further when you're fishing multiple kites. Take some practice, but I'll tell you what, do it right and you're gonna have a great time on the water. Skip any of these little details and it could be the most frustrating experience you've ever had.